You actually become a fool. You know what you do? You suppress the truth about God by your wickedness. And you know what happens? His wrath is poured upon you. Don't believe it? First they say there is no God. Get him out of your mind. Then they bow down to birds, animals, and reptiles, and each other. And the first thing you see coming out of them is gross sexual immorality. They will dishonor their bodies with one another, degrade each other. Uh, is that going on in the United States of America? Look around. God's not there. We have all the answers. Don't hurt a little bird or an animal. And boy, is there some immorality going on around here. Does it get worse? Therefore, because they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to shameful lusts. Women exchanged natural relations and were inflamed with lust for one another. And the men were inflamed with lust with each other. Women with women, men with men. They committed indecent acts with one another. And they received in themselves the due penalty for their perversions. They're full of murder, envy, strife, <laughs> hatred. They are insolent, arrogant, God-haters. They are heartless. They are faithless. They are senseless. They are ruthless. They invent ways of doing evil. That's what you have. 235 years, roughly, after your forefathers founded the country. So what are you going to do, Pennsylvania? Just run with them. You're going to die. Don't forget that.